Are you ready? Exodus, Exodus 33 from verse 14. Look, look at what he says. He says, and the Lord replied. Okay, let's read verse 12. Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, leave these people. Okay, okay. Really, we don't have much time. Verse 14. He says, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I'll give you rest. Then Moses said, verse 15, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. That's very important. I'll go to the next one. Don't worry, that's the next point. But for here, what is he saying? He was removing them from their familiarity, their fellowship. The Egyptians were brutal. They were their masters. But there was a relationship. There was a fellowship acquaintance they were used to that place and he was removing them and taking them straight through the wilderness so the first thing they feared was loneliness loneliness why because they knew that in this wilderness where he was taking them they were desert jackals they were desert leopards Desert lions, desert snakes, desert scorpions, desert what? Desert pirates. And so, that's why Moses said, if you are not going with us, please, 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 don't let us leave this place. Meaning, they were afraid of loneliness. Sometimes the devil lies to you. If you look at today's church and the things I'm saying here, I'm telling the young men to stop wearing sagging trousers. I'm telling the young men to stop going what fellowship, what Friday, what? To stop those immoral meetings of Saturday, Friday, swimming pool, whatever it is. I'm telling them to leave meek, to stay at home on Saturday evening to be found preparing the church for tomorrow. For me, when I was young, I think I was 12 or something, I used to wash the church. I used to wash the church. I write about it. The Lord showed it to me again recently. What I used to do. And where I was at that time, that place which I'm not mentioning, there was a bad habit. People used to come into the church to help themselves. So there was human waste. I used to wash when I was young, 14, 12. Bah, I used not to know it causes disease. Only later I understood he was saying, like I do with you now, so shall I do with you in the future. Some bad people have come into the house and spoiled the house. I did not know, only until now. I used to wash. And it's a problem because I used to wash on Saturday evening, but I have to rush in the morning and wash because some people did it at night again. He was bad. Until one day I was washing, I was tired sitting in the office of that very old reverend. He used to give me the kiss. I used to sit there. I was tired after washing. I used not have much food. So I was also starving. So I was sleeping like this at the door. And then someone came and touched me. And I woke up to look for him. I didn't see him. That's a long story. We can leave it right aside. But what I'm saying is this. I am telling you that instead of going to discourse or fellowship, you know, Botswana is modern, swimming pool, whatever. I'm saying the young men should be in the church, cleaning the church, preparing for Sunday service. Amen. If you're a student in the university, at that time, I'm saying, instead of student whatevers, where there is immorality and name it, those phone calls, I'm telling you that those phone calls, you are able to know a phone call that does not glorify God. And when it's coming, you can just shut it down. I'm telling you to remove your SIM card and put a new SIM. I'm telling the women, if you're so preoccupied and possessed with your hair, then put it to the scissor. Or tie it. I'm saying stop wearing the trousers at your workplace. Probably in that bank, short skirts, 
work you know that mini scars whatever it is there and then i'm saying no 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 you don't worry about them you just dress holy for the lord and when they are going out talking about men you just sit there with your packed lunch and microwave it every office has a microwave today most of them microwave it and tell them no i'm not going with you people eat and read your bible they might say holier than thou right i'm telling you to separate out and you are like israel you are fearing that look he's put, putting me on a lonely path no israel feared that they would be lonely and he says don't worry because most of you you fear loneliness me i just want to be happy i just want to be near my friends we watch over each other and we meet every friday our friends and the lord is saying no separate out it may look like lonely look at me walking alone alone the whole earth but now i have a big family i'm not alone anymore hallelujah Amen. he's saying he's saying the following he's saying that the best companionship you can ever get is the companionship of god himself Amen. forget about the human companionships he said the best is this one here hallelujah I say it mine I used to they say he's walking alone in fact they used to publish he's a lone ranger but when he came they realized he was not alone so I am taking the church and putting on Isaiah 35 verses 8 and 9 the highway of holiness and he says don't worry no ferocious beast will be found there don't worry about loneliness or fear. Nothing will touch you there. Amen. The Lord himself will be there with you. Amen. Companionship. Because I'm taking the church and telling the women, tie your hair. I'm telling long skirts. The young men don't go to movie. Don't do what? I'm putting them on a path. If you look at it with your carnal eyes, you might think it's a lonely path. But you would be very mistaken. Look at me. People, some of you I think you fear because psychologist you need to psychologist to help you right you say I just want him to tell me why I'm not I'm sad or whatever and today in the church they do counseling which is very sad and yet someone like me when the Holy Spirit touched me I have been always on high every day 2 a.m midnight tomorrow morning every day full of joy serving god very happy every country i go to like this i'm happy with them i'm joyous i'm serving i am satisfied the best companionship don't look for companionship from men men can change oh yes can change can disappoint that's what moses was telling them 